Hello and welcome YouTube. We got another let's play for y'all. We're gonna be playing as the majestic empire of Cusco or Cusco if you want to be fancy about it. Now we start as a four province kingdom. We are an actual proper kingdom. We aren't a uh, just territory or a bunch of tribes people. We actually have a kingdom. We can always change this into you know absolute monarchy. Enlightened disposition, <clears throat> etc. etc. We have pretty solid six military, four diplo, five admin. And we do already have an air started up. We get minus one to our unrest, unjustified demands, whatever the fuck that means. We get a minus 10% to that. We start, start with two enemies the Wonka to the north, as well as the Kola with the beautiful flag to the south. So, we have 8,000 men out of 11,000 potential men that we can have. <clears throat> First thing I want to do is check to see if all of our cultures are acknowledged. So let's see, in this province right here, the culture is accepted, so it's green, so that's fine. My people won't be all pissy about it. So we have, we are producing wool, grain, more wool and gold we just get extra gold which is amazing let's go ahead and uh, select a mission so <clears throat> where do I want to push first do these guys have any allies nay neither do they I am their only rival and these guys also have a rival to the south of them so what I can do these guys are actually pretty pathetically weak. We can go and take these three provinces. These, uh, the Pakyas, Charaka, Charakara, and the Kalachiki tribes down here, kingdoms, will like it if I invade them. So first things first, let's go ahead and open up all that. So now we have 8 of 8. Let's go ahead and move into our fort. Let's see our fort screen. How many forts do we have? We have one fort in Cuzco. Okay. <clears throat> good, good. I'm going to play at speed 3. Uh, we have a couple of merchants. Let's check out our trade. What's going on with this? So this is the Lima trade note right here. We own 11% of everything that comes through here. We're going to send our uh, merchant... Ninan Chirichi Altilupa. Sounds like you're almost saying Chalupa. Alright, so we can get another guy over here to transfer trade as soon as we get a little bit more range. It's probably just out of range. So, uh, popular center of trade is actually right here in Lima, which I want to actually take. Because that would be amazing. And then I would have a port. But I feel like taking this uh, Mayakaya. Puno and Chiricuba first is going to be my primary focus. I want these guys exterminated ASAP. So in prep of a future potential war with these colorful people that obviously know a lot about color spectrums, we will go ahead and build up two more men. Uh, pick a national idea. Actually, we're going to conquer Wonka. Because it's going to be the mission we're going to select first. <clears throat> Basically. Too few rivals. Alright, so we are going to uh, Wonka and Koala. 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 Rival them both up because they both hate me, of course. And then we're just going to let the game run. Uh, long live oh Jesus <clears throat> uh, let me get this start fall of the Chanka and the rise of Cusco after years of struggles and having been dangerously close to total defeat by the Chancas in 1438 the kingdom of Cusco has now risen to a greater position than it has ever had previously having saved the kingdom the young king Patuichi went on 
to conquer the Chanka kingdom itself. Shortly afterwards, the state that for long times has exceeded tribute not only from Cusco but from many other of the states in the Adian world since the fall of the old Wadi Empire. Apart from making Pachui as the greatest leader of the Cusco Empire to date, the fall of the Chancas have given us access to the great treasury, a huge collection of gifts from neighbors and tributaries. This is exactly the kind of capital needed to buy the services necessary to reform and expand our kingdom. At this time, nobody knows Pachuchi's plan, but what is certain is that he has the means to steer Cusco in whichever direction he could wish. Long live Pachuchi, he who makes the earth shake. Game some money and a bunch of Diplo. My kind of stuff. Alright, I'm going to move you here. This is a mountainous river crossing courses kind of want uh, them to attack us so this is what I want to do first uh, you guys you, you can immediately start an ally with me that's very interesting what are you you have rivaled with Chara you also rivaled Chara and you rivaled the guys to the south but they're both your enemies both enemies only rivaling them. So I don't know if I want to specifically attack them. Koala. Koala. Uh, they view you as a rival. Okay. So. Let's see. Let's see. Who doesn't really have anyone necessarily as a huge rival? Potentially someone that we can ally and give, take a lot of their land later. So you would have an alliance with these guys. All right. Allied with the Wonka. Oh wait, the Wonka. Really? You already have an ally, Mr. Wonka. Okay, well this is how we're going to try to do this. The these guys, my green brothers, going to offer you an alliance. These men to the north, we are going to go ahead and start improving some relation there as well as uh, you guys because after I take this province and then into Lima we are going to basically be hated by everyone in the north uh, offer a lines from these guys where are you from from you from Lima hmm must have a military alliance have a relationship at least 190 the target country must be at peace I can just kind of vassalize them later. That would be amazing. Yes, done. Now we have this country completely surrounded. Just free that up. Pause it again. Perfect, perfect. Let's move my men this way. Alright, so first thing we're going to conquer is Wonka. First things first Alliance offer from Chara. We unfortunately cannot. Well, the pallet piece is the guys down here. Hugh Yao wants a royal mayor. I don't see why not, my friends. We're gonna need to roll for a leader, and then we're gonna take this beautiful land. Uh, we don't need any more. How many relationships can we have? We can have four. We have four relationships. All right. Go ahead and oh, we already get a delicious, delicious leader. And I think we're gonna pull the trigger real quick. It's uh, basically a few months after the, oh, it's a year and a few months after the first start. Let's us uh, declare some wars. All right, take. What's their capital? Has capital for for the little one. Conquest. 100% aggressive expansion, take capital. Core revocation, liberation of vassal, liberation of countries, monetary rep reparations, annulment of treaties, transfers 50% trade power. So their allies are these guys and these guys to the north. I feel like we can take this out completely before his allies even know what the fuck it is. 
Let's go like this. Move across. And play that game, boy. Let's take it. Take it from him real fucking hard. Now, what I don't understand is my allies. Why? Why you no come in and support my war? They are. Is not cold belligerent in this war, so taking provinces from them will cost twice as much. The leader negotiates for the entire alliance. Okay, so they are basically. They're there to initiate some stuff later. Now let's go ahead and take this before they get there. Come on. Good. So I'm going to be sieging both and taking both. Thank you. Uh, let's pause. You are more than welcome to attach. And I'm pretty sure we're going to be able to squish that ASAP. And this is going to fall any second now. Good. Pause. Alright, so we have 16,000. There's 13,000. What is this? This is a mountains. Battle on May 30th if we move here. Are you guys already engaged? Are you moving? No, they're sieging the this capital. Or their land, technically. <coughs> So let's move our 17,000 troops and initiate some combat. Or do we want to go here? We'll cross a river, we'll not cross a river. Hmm. Maybe if we exterminate them like so. May 30th there will be a battle. They're sieging, there's no river crossing penalty, we have a crazy high leader. They have another couple of guys coming in. That's a good point. Good point. Other guys. I'm gonna go ahead and fire up myself a guy as well. Crushing defeat. Cusco, naval to the world. One of the first things on Pepchu's agenda is the reshaping of Cusco. While our capital has served its purpose over the years, it is in many ways no more than a rural village, often flooded by near nearby rivers. Such a city is no longer fitting for a kingdom with ambitions such as ours. By creating a small model version of the city of Pachui, has drawn up plans for an entire redesign of the city, necessitating the complete evaluation of the city for the duration of the project. While the manpower and material needed for this project are readily available in southern borders, mobilizing the various chiefs under the control of our entails a generous use of gifts and feats. This is, however, a price we will have to pay for our new capital. Let us create a worthy capital. Ten prestige, a little bit less, blah blah blah. Or game on stability. Just the free stability. 10 prestige. Well, we're about to get like crazy prestige. We already have like. We're already on the way up. So we're gonna take that free stability. Won that battle. And we're still sieging down here. So, what I feel like we should be doing is moving in. Actually, exterminating these guys. We just want to stack wiping these cocksuckers. What else we could be doing currently is if we go to Lima, or that's not what I actually wanted to do, but uh, I'm at war with these guys, so let's start taking these provinces. Uh, first things first, Lima, we want to start improving some relationship over here. It'd be real nice, because at 190, we're just gonna ask them if they want to be our vassals. And at that point, if they decline, then we declare war. <laughs> we break our alliance and we declare war. Okay, let's go ahead and consolidate real quick. Good, let's detach siege, move up. Come on, baby. Alright. Fuck you, 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 no, 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 don't fight, don't fight yet. Attach to me, and then just hold. 
please. Okay, good. Hopefully... Yeah, so they're not. They're not. I just want to take that fucking capital already. God damn it, come on. I'm gonna go back here and try to end this war early. There's a lot of units. It's a lot of men. So we can just lose real quick. Fall back with you as well. They're gonna be just trying to take some territory up there. I'm sure they're gonna lose all their men. Real easy, like. And then we will come and fight back what was ours. Wow, they're throwing them back so hard, man. So bad. Ooh, wow, what a fucking fight. What a fight. Alright, uh, let's do this. Detach siege. And then we're gonna chase these guys down. No reason to have extra units lying around for no particular reason. So let's go ahead and try to engage what little is left of their actual units. I mean, there's still quite a bit of units here. Like, 14,000 is nothing to laugh at. But we're constantly going to be hacking them down, man. Just cutting them up. Pachui, we're going to cut you off right here. Stack wipe, please. No morale. They're basically done. Just keep chasing them. Chase them down until they are nothing. Try to gain that war score as much as possible. Even more war score. <laughs> Dumbass is moving into this territory trying to capture back. Uh, building spy network. Good, good, good. Uh, yeah, let's just go in here. Jungle, that's fine. Dun, 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 dun. Got him. Let's go ahead and stack wipe them. A peace offer. Let us see what they want. From who? From these guys? They're about to have their rivers. Uh, uh, we'll pay 12 ducats to Cusco. No CB, I'll just gain some stuff. No, that's not what we're doing here. We're annexing this land, taking it back. We'll just continue this beautiful siegemanship. Continue. I'm debating about having a second leader, but meh. It's too early for that nonsense. 50% war score on this first war. Going pretty good. Pretty good so far. Uh, our economy is positive currently. As soon as this war is over, we'll lower that maintenance and then we'll be able to uh, be making that good money. A good, good. Uh, Unpoo's reputation turns. Some of our propaganda text is circulating in the court about how Pachu is a ruthless power monger. This might impact our relations with other countries. Execute him for this. Embrace the reputation. 100 Diplo for one stability. Well, it costs more than 100 uh, Diplo to raise stability, so that's fine. I guess I'll take that. <laughs> Alright, so what's it gonna take? What's it gonna take from you? Cusconian Vassal. That's not what I want. I want Warglow prevents demanding this stuff. Concede defeat. Humiliate, show strength. I don't want to do that. Sconian Vassal, Sconian Vassal. So I'll gain... Who's this? Siege is over. Good. Uh, let's go back to the local map mode. What is left? So just a couple of little... A couple of little fucking nothings. Okay, so... Uh... Wanka. Beautiful place of Vanka. Vanka will become your subject. I kinda just want their fucking provinces and them to not exist anymore. I want to have you guys 
both of you be my vassal. And then as much money as you can give me. Something like that. And... Yes. Boom. First war is now over. Now I have a couple extra vassals. Uh, I do. I have four, four. Vanka, and I have these guys, and who else? What the fuck else is my vassal? And Kaimarsa, which is these guys up here. Uh, we are going to go ahead and Royal Mary. And then as soon as we have another free guy, start improve relations and then start that annexation boat ASAP. Alright. Getting real close. How much we can improve? 62 more. Yeah, in Lima. So we can improve 60 more. It'll put us at 169, 170. But we'll still need 20 more from other things. Can I roll and marry you? Does not have proper whatever the fuck. Uh, they have no shipbuilding capacity, so cannot be used for ship basing. Okay, that's fine. Whatever. So let's go ahead and merge you guys. Uh, 11 of 13. So we might as well fire that up. Good stuff. We've got a couple of sexy vassals that will do everything we will ever tell them to do. It's always nice. Uh, yeah, that's fine. I like having vassals sending me extra money. National decision available. What do I do? Wonka does not exist. Uh, what is this? At peace, stability at least one. National unrest, stability cost modifier. Okay. That's cool. <laughs> Introduce a vision quest. Have a the theologian rite of passage until 1821, basically the end of the game. We'll just get gain yearly prestige and stability cost modifier is lowered. While we are doing nothing with our army, we are going to drop that all the way down. Make a couple extra ducats. 0.5 inflation, nothing to really worry about right now. And boy oh boy are things still getting heated. Looks like an actual solid let's play that we're having right here. Boys, girls, men, women, trans, all alike. Nevea up here. The boss city of Nevea. Now, we, I mean, playing a American game, per se, North or South America, is a lot slower because you don't start with all the fancy pants, you know, Eastern technologies and everything like that. Like, having our technologies, they're gonna, like, our first technology is gonna be coming in about 10 years from now. Like, this one's 62, this one's 56. So, in 9 years, we'll get Military Tech 1. Which is perfectly fine. We still want to take them. Annex Vassal. Vassal for at least 10 years. It's not possible before 56, and they need to have us at least at 190. That's fine. Who am I improving with? These guys? No. Lima and. Kachopaya, which is, I believe, these guys all the way down here. So, first things first, we're gonna stop doing that because we don't need to do that anymore. We're gonna start improving some relations over here. Ah, I love having vassals. So neat. They're like they're like little extensions of my kingdom. Fifteen prestige. We're legit. Power projection is off the charts. Positive stability and everything is so far so good. We're gonna recall this diplomat, see what else we can get him doing. Like, perhaps. Prove some relationships over here. How much more can we get out of this? 43 more. Okay. That's cool, that's cool. Who, who, occupied by 
Kyoto. Kyoto. Oh, there's these guys up here. Can I just like tell them to enforce peace? Can't tell them to enforce it with you guys, but you guys don't give a shit about me. Well, hmm. These guys will be my ally. But you guys have a couple of annoying other allies. You are allied with me and them. You only have one ally to these guys. Okay. Whatever. Let's keep the game running. Let's keep it going. Keep making that money. Truce will expire in October of 61. I mean, so far so good, right? We won the first war. Check. Uh, I'm looking right now on the board. It looks like we have the highest men, most men, on the field. 13,000 troops ready to give their life from the beautiful king of Cusco. Beautiful king Apu Panchu Hanan. Pachu Achi. No. Pa. Achuti. Pachuti. Pachu Achuti. Apu Pachu Achuti Hanan. Pachu Apuchuti Hanan. A great leader has already widened our scope, broadened the horizon of the world that we exist by introducing vassalage to our neighbors. Alright, uh, what's going on here? Nobles demand privileges. The privileges of the nobility have been under continuous assault at Pachuchuti. Pachuachuti has attempted to centralize more than more and more control. The nobles have finally lost their patience and are demanding that they are given back what they are rightfully theirs. Accept our claims, lose temper siege, or a little bit more national unrest. Uh, nobles until 49. August 49. One year of minus two unrest. Oh well. Nothing we can't really handle right now. And even if we couldn't, we still have allies that can't. <laughs> like we got like extra 4,000 men that can just jump into any war that we just decide to declare on. So let's see. What do we what do we have around here? This is a tropical attrition for enemies, supply modifier, blah blah blah. This is the trade node, yeah, coastal trade center. Oracle of Palamanca is one of the most important shrines in the Adian world. It is since the 7th century, Adian rulers and nobles have come to ask in small wooden idol about their future. Well, it makes me want to go down there and ask it myself, right? Uh, what was that? Oh, no. That's nothing. Change culture. Cult time months. Interesting. It's a wonderful text bug. Alright, flipping... Uh, these guys can suck up to them for 136 more, so they're gonna be at 150 towards the end of this. Racking up that money, 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 money. Making a duck at a turn. Uh, trade. I mean, that's fine, I guess. Tribal despotism. You know, unlocks despot monarchy, feudal monarchy, and oligarchy republic. National empire, income from vassals, diplomats, number of states, national focus cooldown. Interesting. The brick trade range plus 100. As soon as that happens, we're going to start sending more trade range into this port that we're going to be taking soon enough. And I'm looking at the clock here, guys. This episode's gone on for a little bit longer than I would prefer. So if you like the content that's going on right now and you want to see Cusco take the entirety of South America and then expand into North America and then conquer the fucking world, don't forget to like and subscribe, guys. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.